So your blood pressure may be fine at home, maybe even you monitor it at home and always consistently get normal numbers. But then you go to your doctor and it spikes. And in this video, we're gonna discuss why that happens, why it matters, and what both you and your doctor can do about it. So first, this is an extremely common thing. It's even got its own name, white coat syndrome. Sometimes I will joke with my patients that I don't even wear my white coat anymore because of this, because they don't want their blood pressure elevating. It's basically just a prop in the background at this point. Blood pressure is very sensitive to stress, emotional stress, and going in to get your blood pressure taken at a doctor's office can be a stressful situation. And this triggers the fight or flight response. And this is an ancient response where your body, when it's under stress, releases hormones, particularly epinephrine and norepinephrine. And the release of these hormones are supposed to help you deal with life-threatening situations. Thousands of years ago, if you were attacked by another tribe or a saber-toothed tiger or something like that, the release of these hormones would boost your strength so that you could either fight off that attack or run away. Today, we typically don't deal with these life-threatening, stressful situations, but our body still continues to respond to stress the same way, increasing your heart rate and narrowing your blood vessels. So why does this actually matter? So in my case, I'm typically seeing patients that are taking exams where their job is literally on the line. So think of things like the DOT physical or the basic med physical. So that stress of needing to pass the exam to keep their job and their livelihood can lead to this fight or flight response. And in other situations, you may be concerned that your doctor's actually going to find something seriously wrong with you or that he might need to start some treatment that may be inconvenient or expensive. So all of these situations, again, can lead to this stress fight or flight response. All right, finally here, I've got a list of things that not only you can do, but also the doctor performing the exam can do to hopefully mitigate against this stress response and getting artificially high blood pressure numbers. The number one thing you can do is if you are taking blood pressure medication, if you've already been diagnosed with having high blood pressure and are being treated, please just remember to take that medication before going in to get your exam performed. Number two is try to avoid caffeine immediately before the exam. This is a big one. Caffeine, again, will artificially or can artificially elevate your blood pressure. So eliminating it, not drinking any caffeine right before going into the exam, again, can help your blood pressure numbers be lower. You can take things like the big one that I am a proponent for is beet root juice or beet root powder. And this can help to dilate the blood vessels. So it counters the constriction from the hormones that we talked about before. So it actually opens up the blood vessels. And if you know anything about pipes, your blood vessels are basically just pipes and the narrower the pipe gets, the more pressure builds up. A good night's sleep the night before going in to take the exam will also make you less susceptible to the stress that you're potentially going to be under causing a physical response. Your doctor can also help to mitigate against these artificially elevated blood pressure numbers due to stress. And typically some things that I will do is if I'm getting high numbers and the person, the patient is reporting to me that they don't have high blood pressure, typically they check it at home and they, they never get high numbers, but I'm getting high numbers. I will, again, wait, let them relax a little bit. Maybe I'll even let them lay down, uh, listen to some relaxing music to calm everything down and then take their blood pressure again at the end. And usually if this is an issue, if white coat syndrome is an issue, that will bring the blood pressure numbers back down. I hope that was helpful. I would appreciate a like on this video and ask me any questions in the comments section below or share your blood pressure tips. Until next time, everybody, stay safe.